Hey everyone, here I'm at Button Willow, and uh, I got a rod knock. I got a rod knock in July. I'm not lying about this either. <laughs> uh, I came off of, uh, I was about to enter Phil Hill. I was about to enter Phil Hill, and uh, my temp gauge went up, like it spiked. And then uh, I coasted the car to the pit. And then um, as I was slowing down in the pit, uh, the car just shut off. Uh, I got some help pushing it in to uh, my garage here, to my garage here, and uh, I let it cool down. Tried to start it again, and it just it just started knocking. So uh, yeah, luckily I didn't I didn't like blow a blow a hole through the motor or anything. But I don't know, is it time to upgrade to the H22 or? stay single cam I don't, I don't know the single cam was pretty good to me but I don't know I don't know I'm really thinking about doing H22 yeah so uh, we're gonna go get a luckily Alex is here um, we're gonna go get a trailer and a hitch for the foreigner and we're gonna pull this back down to San Diego so I'll catch you guys when I get to U-Haul and get a trailer. See you guys later. Is it recording? Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> um, update, got the car on the trailer. Thank you very much, Alex. You're a lifesaver, bro. <laughs> uh, we just we just drove it straight onto the trailer with it knocking. Uh, I had to take off, I had to rip off the uh, the lip. It just It's just riveted on, so it was easy to take off. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if uh, how this forerunner does towing the uh, first time towing a car this car weighs around like 2800 pounds so it's a, it's a good little test so yeah i'll see you guys on the road yo back at the house uh car's back in the garage so motor has a rod knock um it's due to oil starvation how do i know that because i remember i told I told my my lady I was like I think I'm forgetting to do something or like I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something right before I went on my first session and I came back in I came back in after my first session and the car kind of felt like it lost compression or it just felt like it wanted to die um, kind of like I don't know how to explain it it just kind of stuttered and uh, the RPM just kind of dropped but then uh, it went back up back to normal it was fine check the oil the oil on the dipstick was actually like half and mind you I drove like 200 something miles to the track so I'm pretty sure I burnt a good amount of oil on the way up because this car has the Euro R transmission T2W4 um, and this transmission is pretty short so at like 65 miles an hour I'm already at above 3,000 rpm um, yeah so this, this engine rod knock due to my fault <laughs> my fault and uh, that track day was on July 9th it is now September 19th and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting or trying to give you guys a surprise or anything I've got gotten a new motor it's over there it came in today uh, I ordered off of uh, ordered off of HMO, ordered off of uh, HMO online. So uh, those guys they mainly specialize in importing. Um, seems like a lot of Honda stuff, a lot of uh, Honda engines and uh, a lot of seats and stuff for like EKs and DCs. But uh, yeah, got my motor today. So. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and unwrap it. I forgot to tell you guys what motor it was. Or maybe I'll just unwrap it. <laughs> All right. All right, after some fighting with some tools to get this these straps off they're like some kind of metal um here we are 
and take the cardboard off so you guys can see the valve cover. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Holy moly. Oh my god, that's fresh. That is so clean. <laughs> There you guys have it. I got an F20B. It's gonna go straight into this car. Uh, this car already has the Euro, Euro R LSD transmission, so I think it'll pair up pretty nice with uh, the F20B. Whew. All right. Um, well, there you have it. That's probably gonna conclude the video from here. I'm gonna get new motor mounts. Uh, new motor mounts. Uh, what else? I need a Moroso oil pan for an H series, uh, H22 pickup oil pickup tube. Uh, what else do I need? I might actually just go ahead and refresh all the gaskets on the, the new engine. So I have to find what parts I could use, what parts I could use from the H22 and um, stuff like that. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna convert this to an OBD1. So I'm gonna put an OBD1. Um, OBD1 uh, distributor. Um, also need to change out the uh, intake manifold so I can um, use a different fuel rail. So I can use uh, bigger injectors. Probably gonna get some like RDX injectors or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, That's, uh, there you got it. F20. Alright, later guys.